<clears throat> okay. Uh, so, new eighth the raids uh, week. Uh, four hours left. Hopefully, I can get this in in that time. Uh, but yeah, so let's take a look up here. Twelve seven fifty eight. So twelve seven sixty. Twelve seven fifty is fine regardless. Um, so I calculated it. I have 190. The next one I need to get uh, at least one of the pots. I'll get 10 more points and have 200. Uh, so that's two attacks for 100 each. Gets me uh, let's see, three. Where am I? 330. So that's 660. Uh, let's go check here. Uh, 660 gets me to three. So 13, 12, 12,000 or 13,000. Uh, 358 plus the 60 because I added the three the, the 600 first so I had the 60 gets me to 410 uh, basically uh, uh, this math is uh, a little bit of math just to uh, make the point that um, I need to be I need to get perfect on these next two well th there's perfect and then there's um, like you know doesn't really matter whether I take the aether pots right I just need to take at least one in this next map to, to get the second attempt it's going to really suck if I can't do that. Uh, but yeah, so I need to get a full score, not lose a single unit for these next two maps, and I'll be in tier 27. Uh, sounds pretty good. Uh, I don't think it's going to be that hard. Uh, let's go take a look here. So that's that. Uh, unfortunately, this time, so my rank is down here. Again, if I make it to tier 27, I'm probably going to get here. I don't know about here. Uh, let's go. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Lastly here. So this time I did dip quite quite low here. Uh, I went this. I went all the way down to uh, 141, and that and that kind of talks to the same thing I was talking about uh, in the last uh, in the last episode was uh, depending on how well you do on offense, it affects your defense. So because I was doing a little better on offense, uh, I matched up against higher people, and then they were able to sort of take apart my uh, defense a little bit better. Uh, but going into next uh, right now. I was gonna. I was thinking about making videos, um, looking at my defenses and showing you know what went wrong and, and what to, to go from there. Uh, my defense right now is very utilitarian. It's just kind of like stuff I have built and I just kind of put it there. Um, next next season, I think I'm gonna start that up. I'm probably gonna do it on Sundays uh, and then show that stuff uh, just to to have something because on Saturday and Sunday I don't have any videos to make, so that's that'll be something for that day. Um, but yeah, I probably have like some sort of series showing uh, defenses, you know, what went wrong, what went right. Because uh, for now, I mean, the, the, my defense now, I kind of know what goes wrong a lot of the times. The same things usually, um, just because of how it's set up. It's not set up properly. Uh, but going into uh, going into the next season when I do have my defense that I, I, I've showed off in a few videos here and there, um, I do look forward to seeing how that performs and analyzing, you know, what's going wrong and, and what what preconceptions that I thought going into it are, are incorrect in that sense. Uh, so for, for any of you, this season is also, like, I did come out higher, and I, I do have a chance at 227. I'm pretty sure I'm going to make it, though. Um, but it's a little bit, like, less fair, because every time, anytime Air or Peony is here, it just makes my teams, like, infinitely more, uh, just a lot more useful, because now I can just run two dancers on everything, and she'll be here next week. Uh, this will be a lot different next week. It's still going to be decently hard. Um, but what was I going to, there's one last thing I wanted to address. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's go look here. So this is my defense, of course. I still have three escape ladders, so this is pretty good. It means I can um, do this with relative ease. So it's good to have that peace of mind going in. Um, so as you can see, my team's here. Uh, so these four are always here, and then this is the bonus unit. So the fact that I have her means I have two dancers with her. A bunch of variations with the same thing. So instead of uh, a Versa, it's, it's her. Um her in case I need like a lot more damage or something um, and then her for movement and all that stuff and then here just because she's kind of useful giving her buffs and whatnot if I just want to like move her to a place and just have her sit there and tank uh, she's very good for helping facilitate that uh, so yeah let's just get in there enough uh, enough dilly dallying um, check this map see where we got here Um, this team doesn't seem too bad at first glance. I think what I'm going to do is clear this side here, probably jump here, hit her, hopefully killing her. She's, you know, she's not as physically tanky and, and whatnot. 
Uh, so probably sit here, hit her, um, then dancer, move her here, and then hit her, and probably move the dancer out of the way just so that she doesn't get hit by her. Um, the problem, the problem being uh, this this dancer, or probably you know what? I don't even know if I'll kill her. Maybe I, should, I might just leave her there. Because uh, I have two peonies, which means my speed is going to be like way higher, hopefully higher than than what's going on there. Uh, so put her, have her kill her dancer, move her here, and then kill this dancer just to make sure I don't get like snuck up on by anything, and start working on getting rid of this stuff over here. Uh, so let's see what would be the best here. Do they have any physical buffs? Nothing here. Nothing here. Nothing here, nothing here. Uh, she has this. The question is, do I feel like bringing a Versa just to counter that? I think I might. Actually, I might just bring a Versa for this too. Though, he's not that big a threat. Which is kind of sad to say because, you know, Ray, Roy is like <laughs> my favorite one. One of my favorite legendaries anyway. I use him on like everything. Um, but yeah, I really do think I'm going to kill her and then just put her here and, and kill that one. Um, hopefully I can survive what she's putting out. 39 speed is not a whole lot. Uh, survive what she's putting out. I'm, I mean, that guy is probably not going to be that big a deal. Um... Question is, how do I want to do this? I want to bring in a Versa. I don't want to bring in her. Or do I value the damage? Do I need more? Do I need more damage? I don't think I need more damage. The movement, the movement might be useful, but just because one, two, she can hit here and here. So someone has to pop this. Yeah, I don't know if I'll be able to properly take care of, like, do the... So, this hinges on being able to put her here. Yeah, I could probably, like, have my Dancer here. Move Boki here. Dancer here. Move her up here. Hit her, and then have this Dancer slide forward, and then touch her here, and then have her stand here and hit her. So I think regardless, well, I think regardless, Lucina, uh, Lancina's not going to be, well, I mean, let's take a look at this. Would it be viable to just end turn with Boki here somewhere, like here or, or just here or somewhere over here somewhere? Um, that's an interesting question. Because that might be like a very, that, that, that would be probably one of the safer ways to go about it. Um... Let's see, she'd come here and hit her, get dance and hit her again. Uh, she won't do anything, She he won't do anything, she won't do anything, she won't do anything. So I think this might be, that actually might be the way to go. So if this team, if, if this team loses, it'll be because of that. Um, I know that um, Veronica, it's tempting to have her be a focal point. Uh, but she really never does enough damage to really, like, have her be there on her own. So I think that might be the case, honestly. Um, because the problem is, she needs to have enough damage to not only, like, I mean, for one, she doesn't have enough speed either, because she has to double me to do any real damage. So she's just going to single hit me, get dance, and single hit me again. And seems we're in light season. She has, uh, what, 30, uh, 38 res plus the 7 is 55. Uh, no, wait, 45, 45 res. So basically what that means is I'm going to hit, I'm going to tank, I'm going to tank this hit for um, 5 damage. The second one's going to hit me after I've been debuffed for, like, 
maybe nine damage at most. Oh, she gets four, so it's a four swing. So 13 damage, 13 damage plus the eight. Um, that's not gonna kill me. And these people aren't gonna, like, she needs to have multiple coverage. So if she's gonna hit me, she needs to, she's gonna dance there and hit me again. I think that's what I'm gonna end up doing. So hopefully these don't move in any weird way. Uh, the safer play might just be, like I said, killing her and then moving here and then killing her and then tanking his hits. He's not going to double me. I mean, probably not. Well, if I have a Versa, he's definitely not going to double me because like she'll, yeah, I think I'm going to bring a Versa into this just to make sure they don't get the, um, because I, I, I had forgotten about the, the plus four. I remember she debuffed four, but I forgot the plus four to everybody. So that's, not only is that a minus three to all these people, it's a minus four. So it's a minus seven to every stat, which means I'm really not going to get doubled or, or basically no one's going to hit me for anything. Uh, they're just going to hit me like a wet noodle. Um, not to mention my speed. Yeah, like I said, my speed is uh, 52 right now because of the, the two peonies, which means I get plus four and plus four. Um, so yeah, I'm just like insanely tanky and very speedy. This is going to be really hard to go back to light season without the two peonies again. <laughs> but yeah, I think this plan isn't too bad. Um, <clears throat> so have a dancer here. Loki here. Other dancer here. Air here and... Um, Aversa here, or, or no, aver uh, air here and Aversa here. Uh, so this peony hits this. Boki moves here and hits this. I'm going to move my dancer here. No, this isn't. So I have to do this. Okay, so this dancer, peony is going to hit this. And then I'm going to have to wait a turn. Next turn, she's going to hit here, hit this. Dancer here, move her here. Now that these are cleared, hit her. Have this dancer go forward, hit uh, her. And someone's going to get hit by Veronica. But hopefully... Or one of my dancers is going to get hit by Veronica. But hopefully they can survive that. Um, what <laughs> My other peony is unbuilt. Let's see, what do I have? Well, I actually, wow, I can't believe I burned a peony on this. Uh, but this peony's unbuilt. I should really focus on putting a heal, uh, not healing, um, tanking, like some, some, some way to tank on here. Maybe not like a fortress res defense, or maybe a fortress res defense, but something like that, you know, just put a bunch of skills to make her tanky. Um, so situations, for situations specifically like this, where, um, like I could leave her here and then <clears throat> not worry about like Veronica killing her. But yeah, that's... We'll see how that goes. So I think I'm going with this again. We have a uh, we have what's it called? We have a uh, three escape ladder, so it's not that big a deal. Um, <clears throat> it's also good to stay here on the first turn. Let's see you. Which one here is tankier? She's got 40 speed, 44 speed, 31 res. We got 31 res. So they got the same res. She's got more stats because she's a plus one. So I'm going to put you here, right? Because this one is going to get hit. She's going to stand here, which is in the way of Veronica. But she's not going to get danced, which is a good thing. And I don't think Veronica can kill her. Yeah, so. Uh, and then you're going to, I'm going to put, I'm putting her here just because she is probably going to be in charge of killing Duma. Yeah, he doesn't have... Yeah, okay, so this is kind of... Well, oof, that Duma. Uh, what is it? Plus five? Wow. Plus five Duma. Defense. Uh, we'll see how this goes. He doesn't have um, Disencounter, which makes this easier. Because uh, everybody here is just ranged, so I can just hit him until he dies. Uh, but she's going to start getting... She's going to start working on getting up there and clearing all this uh, debris out of the way here. Um, I think I mentioned this in my uh, defense guide not guide or, you know, just kind of like a explanation, I guess. Yeah, defense explanation. Uh, you really want Duma somewhere right here um, in one of these positions because these positions are usually where the, the like, this tower is. Um, but, yeah, 
Like, you really want to pop a tower. Because he's a free catapult. Like, if, as long as you're running upheaval on him, he's a free catapult on anything. The problem with this catapult is, like, it has to be lower than this thing. Equal to or lower this thing's level. And you have to invest stones into this. So it's just a waste. But uh, up, upheaval, like, Duma with upheaval, it's like, there's no, there's no issue whatsoever. You just have him there. Plus, air is 64. She's, uh... She's boosted from bonus units, so she might just be able to kill Duma. Hopefully, anyway. Um, let's uh, yeah, let's just get uh, let's just get to it, I guess. Uh, so this is so this is wow, fifty six. Oh, are they missing? And they're missing a tower. So this is kind of you know <laughs> a bit almost excessively unfair uh, on their side. <clears throat> uh, so I guess I really there's not a whole lot to worry about in this in this one. Uh, I'm still going to wait a turn just because he's going to upheaval, hit us all for 7, and give her the advantage. Um, so I don't really want that. Uh, so I think I'm just going to pop this. Um, yeah, so next turn she's going to hit here, hit this. She's going to come here, dancer, move her forward, hit that. And then she's going to stand here and move her forward here, hit that. Okay. Yeah, this is pretty good. Uh Next turn, right, and then this is also why I want to wait another turn, because next turn he's going to get uh, plus six speed and attack and speed, which will turn to, to debuffs because of Ursa. So let's uh, let's just start working away at this here. <clears throat> let's end turn. Oh man, you know you're an old man when you start worrying about water rings on your desk. Put that there. Okay. So let's see. Like I said, minus nine. There we go. Uh, I'm tempted to just sit here and tank this because let's see if I put her here, I can just dance her and have her stand here and hit this, and have everybody else like just pile into me and do almost no damage whatsoever. Like forty one speed. 49 speed. Even with a minus 7, I'm still beating her. But I have this plan well, worked out, so I think I'm just going to like uh, just go through with it, I guess. Let's <clears throat> kill you. Let's kill you. Oh, okay, yeah. So, either, I mean, either way... So this one is going to get hit. Okay, so I'm actually kind of curious to see what happens here. Okay. Okay. So, basically, uh, what won me... <clears throat> Not losing a unit was the tower bonuses because she hit pretty hard. Um, let's hit you. Okay, so he's just gonna die. Um, let's hit this. Well, let's hit this with this. Move this. Oh, so she's stuck here. Um. Let's just wait a turn again. Okay, so this one was pretty easy. Um, nothing too bad. Unfortunately, the um, the tower bonus is what the fortress bonus is what lost it here. I mean, it's entirely possible they would have lost regardless, but um, I really do think that tower um, is what what cinched it. <clears throat> okay. So this is where <clears throat> uh, this is the last um uh, last one, this is where the money is. I need I have 388. I need 312. 312 points to make it to tier 27. Right, so 300, 388, plus 2 is 390, plus 10 is 400. Okay. 
So I need three twelve, and I have I can if I perfect the next one, I have um, three thirty. Uh, I have the escape ladder, so uh, it's looking pretty good. I think though, let's come here. She's she is so fast right now, thanks to the the season bonuses. I think what I'm going to do is give her the moon bow, or not the moon bow. Uh, let's change the seal here. I think I'm going to give her. Let's see if this bites me in the ass, but it, it's fine because, um, <clears throat> like I said, I have three escape ladders, so, um, you know, we got plenty of chances. Where, it's an ace, it's an ace slot, right? Yeah. <clears throat> oh, you can't put this on here. Let me equip due to movement type. Oh, I forgot about that. She can take the, the heavy blade, though. Do I want to do that? She has 60 something attack. Um, plus the four from this. I think I'm going to put it on her. Anyway. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, like I said, it's not that big a deal. Um, well, let's do it. Check this map. This looks kind of easy, but... Yeah, it's so kind of easy, but I've been wrong before. I think this one, like Double Dancers, really gives you a lot of easy ease of access to like really stupid strategies. What I mean by that is this. I can put a unit here, trigger this, dance them, and move them out of the way, and then be fine. Can I? Or maybe I can't. Yeah, because I can put like air here and reposition. So dance, put someone here, dance them, move them back one, air, reposition, and put her here. Right? And I'm out of danger. Then next turn, I can put someone here. Put my, now that this is clear, put my dancer here, dance them. If it, if it ends up being that. So dance. Uh, like like put uh, Boki here, dance, and then put Boki here, and then uh, reposition her back here, and they're in the range of my healing tower, so I can heal that damage back partially, and then proceed to do whatever plan I want to do next. Um, which, if this is fake, it's going to be better for me because I can put her here, put Boki here, snipe her. Hopefully, that's kind of dangerous. Uh, I mean, yeah, snipe her. Then dance her and then snipe her, which is the, the main target, because that looks pretty meaty. At start, if, if units HP is less than units attack trigger special. Oh, it's the it's the uh, what's that called? I forgot what it was called. The uh, wrath effect. Very interesting. Oh wait, it's the wrath effect. Yeah. Um, plus 10 and a minus one cooldown. Uh, so that, that, I think that's what I'm gonna have to do. I'm gonna have to pop those. This guy is gonna be a real irritant, but, oh, and he's got wind sweep. Oh no. Oh, this is wind sweep. Uh, pass. Okay, that's, that's kind of stupid. Uh, do we have any visible buffs? So there's that. That. I think I might just bring a Versa again. One of the things, I find myself using a Versa a lot, uh, even if they don't have debuffs, even if they don't have a lot of buffs, for one, because she's got Smite and she's got my Defense Res Link, which, because Peony is here giving me a plus seven, I really need to replace this with like an Attack Defense Link, uh, or an Attack Speed or a Speed Defense Link, just as long as it's the Defense and some other stat that isn't Res. Um, seeing as Mordecai, I have a bunch of Mordecais, he's probably going to be what I'm going to take off. But anyway, I end up using her a lot, even when, like, they don't have um, buffs on their side. Because, like, she, she drops them by s 
uh, six attack and speed, um, which is good for survivability. But like sometimes you want the the ease of access. So even though sure you're you're losing a three and three for speed and attack on this, but the the minus defense three is pretty good. Sometimes it helps you at, with the speed, right? Helps you just secure those kills. Um, but yeah, so I usually end up using her, and I might just end up going with her anyway. Uh, this guy's gonna be a huge irritant. Was he plus ten? Yeah, plus ten. Would he get a plus ten? No. Um, plus ten. I, I kind of like this on her, just because like she has no business fighting. So if you ever do decide to fight with her, uh, have her use. If you ever do decide to use her in a fight, um, you're usually gonna have her hit a red, and you you'll do more damage. Uh, so yeah, I, I really like the triangle depth on there. But I use her. I don't know. I, I might have to figure it out. So my biggest concern here is going to be, um, where is it? Not having enough damage. Because these two do look pretty tanky. Um, like her, I can probably secure the kill on her. I'm not going to, I don't think I'll, it'll be too bad. But her, who knows? Like, if this is a lightning trap, or if the lightning trap is here, well, what am I even going, why am I even doing it that way? I think maybe the better way would just be to go this way. Have um, Boki here and Sniper from this point. Well, have her stand here, pop this, and then wait a turn. I have two dancers, so hit stand here, pop this. Dancer here, uh, and Dancer again here to hit her, which should put me in the way of him. Yeah, because he can go one, two, three here and hit me here. And then get danced by these. So hopefully I can survive multiple hits from him. He doesn't have, I really think maybe Wind Sweep would have been good here. But you can't follow up attack is a problem, and he really wants to hit both. Ugh, Gale Force, that's even worse. He shouldn't be able to trigger it though, should he? You can't IP him. That's kind of interesting. So he's going to hit me once. I think he's just going to die. Like he's going to hit me once for a decent amount of damage, but if I hit him back, he's just going to die. I think. He's going to have a minus nine here, so he's going to have 20 defense. Yeah, he might just die. So I think I'm just gonna put her, I'm gonna do that what I just said here. Pop this, uh, move us out of the way, and then wait for another turn. Uh, and then, so I think standing here will be fine. So then move her here, hit that, bring my dancer who is probably standing here to dance her. To, she's standing here, dance her here, dance, then have her kill her. Cause she's actually looks pretty, pretty scary. Um, but this guy, just because like, I can't one shot her back. Uh, but this guy here, I feel like I could just one like if if she if fighting with her drops me low enough, I might just have vantage and then just one shot him before he has any chance to do anything. But I don't think I'll be dropped into vantage fighting these two. Um, this fire sweep bow or sword is kind of irritating because it means that I need to kill her because next turn she, it's just going to be free damage because she's going to hit me. Um, like yeah, like I said, for free. So I really need to kill her. All right, let's just do that. I'm gonna bring in, I'm taking this. Uh, like I said, I don't need to worry about uh, taking these. So this is a pretty good stress-free uh, one. Let's keep both the dancers here. This dancer and this dancer. Okay, no wait, this dancer, not that one. I want you here. Ooh, this one's kind of scary here. Uh, this also is, funnily enough, like pretty good because um, having the three uh, units here 
um, gets you more HP, which means it, it makes it harder for people to dodge a versus by just stacking a bunch of HP, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I guess let's just get in there. Okay. Pop this. Have her stand here and pop this. Oh yeah, I think I got this. Let's, let's take a look here. I think she's just gonna die, if I'm honest. I mean, I'm always afraid they're gonna move, even though no one's in range. Okay, yeah. I haven't caught it on footage. It's happened like throughout the week. You're, you're doing a team again. If anybody knows why that happens, feel free to feel free to tell me. Uh, but for some reason, I, I, again, I, I have no idea why it is. Maybe I'm just not good enough at this game. But like, I'm right here in positions like this where they shouldn't want to move, and they just kind of move for some reason. It's really weird. Um, I don't understand it myself, but you know. So let's take a look here. So they're minus three, minus three, minus five. So she got speed from somewhere. All oh, from here, from here. No. There you go. Like I said, uh, minus nine. Okay, moment of truth. Let's see if I can kill her. I can. So that's cool. Okay, so uh oh okay no I think I got this right uh oh this is bad Um maybe this way. I think I need to pull back a second. I don't think I was supposed to go yet. Uh I think that was the go turn yet. I think what I yeah, I think I, I messed that up there. Still not that big of a deal. I think I'll just hit her. Um Ugh. I'm actually wondering, okay, I can put her here and then hit her, she's just gonna die, she does no damage for some reason, she gets a counter once and she doesn't do any damage, that's a lot of, that's kind of weird how debuffed that is, oh minus six, I forgot about uh, the attack tactic here, um, so my thing is now, I think I messed that up, well, it's not that big a deal, right? I can move her here and then come down here and then like flip her in here and then kind of reset this up so I can sit here. But I think that's a bit of a waste. So what I think, what I'm thinking now is maybe put her here, have her hit her, have her attack me. I can't counterattack. Uh, I'm gonna get. I'm st I don't think I'm gonna take enough damage, but maybe get the um, the vantage right. If she can hit me, maybe I can get into vantage range. And there's a minus five speed. Yeah. Um, get into vantage range, and then when he comes to attack me, maybe I just vantage him. Hmm. 
Oh, he has pass. That's kind of irritating. Yeah, it's pretty irritating. Um, of course. My biggest concern, right, is Nesala. With that pass. Now... I'm pretty, I feel like I'm pretty safe. Oh, actually, yeah. I mean, the deal is, I just need to hit him. <sighs> I think maybe would it would have been easier to just, like, put Boki here and then hit him and have Nisala hit me. No, that still wouldn't be very good. This pass is actually pretty interesting. Um... Makes it hard to dance anybody anywhere. Properly, anyway. Okay, so now I'm in a bit of a weird situation. So, I really need to think about this Nesala more than I did initially. So the only thing I'm getting out of this Nesala is going to be the Sturdy Impact. Um, I can't see without my glasses. So every other skill is basically... The Defense Smoke isn't going to hit anybody because no one's in range. The Heavy Blade isn't going to do anything to me because I have higher attack. 53 plus the 7 is 60. 51 plus the 6 is 56. Or 7. <laughs> so still not enough. Um, but it blocks my follow-up attack. Is what I'm worried about. So I need to one-shot Nesala. Um, the question is, can I do that? I have, like I said, I have... Let's see. I have 60 attack. 60, he's got 20 defense. Well, he's got 30 defense, so he's taking 30 damage. I forgot what the color advantage. I think it's 20%, right? 20% of, of 30 is, is 6. That doesn't sound right, but I don't know. I, I have forgotten what the... Um, the, the I, I just usually like, oh, you know, that'll kill that, but... Uh, that's something you want to consider, and six extra damage doesn't sound right. So the thing is, I, I'm hitting him for 30 on the swing back. Well, well uh, 35 because I have this. So swing back for 35, I'm 10 damage short. I think it's a 30%. I'm going to pause this and come back. I'm going to go Google that. Okay. I might edit that part out because I don't want to look that stupid, but... Maybe, you know, hopefully hopefully I'll remember to take that out. But yeah, so weapon advantage does 1.5 times damage. Which means hitting him for 30, which I know now I have 35 damage on him, means I'm hitting him for 15 more. That's exactly enough to secure the kill. A 5 more damage is helpful. Um, but right, it's still pretty darn risky. Okay, so it's, I'm gonna, <laughs> like I said, I have 60 here, okay, he's got 30 defense, I'm hitting him for 30, and he's taking an extra 1.5 times damage, means an extra 15 damage is 45. So this entire thing hinges on me one-shotting him on the counter. It was a horrible. Uh, it was a horrible situation to be in. Um, I 
The question here is who do I want to kill out of all these? Probably the dancer, right? Cause she's gonna she's just gonna keep hitting at hitting me. Of course. I've put you here. Who can hit you? Or she can hit you. Cause I'm still thinking about maybe just um hitting her there. Uh the problem being that uh, he's gonna get like he's just gonna move kind of sporadically like crazy. Um, so I really do need to bait him into Boki. The, prob the problem is uh, she's gonna get danced and start. Well, she's like she's not gonna get debuffed even worse. Yeah, okay, so that's fine. I think I'm just gonna hit this dancer, or, or maybe hit her. She doesn't have any threatening anything threatening either, right? Well, I really do want to hit her just to not get that sturdy impact off. Uh, so let's just hit you. Okay, so uh, the events have been set in motion. Um, this is uh, there's no turning back from here. I think I'm gonna put you here, just to give her the goads, and nobody can really. Nobody has pass, right? Yeah, no one else has pass. Oh, what is this? Ugh, that is disgusting. I, I can't believe I didn't uh, pay attention to that. Um, ugh. Gale Force teams, they're the most irritating things on defense. They're never really that good. They're just like gotchas half the time. Um, that's kind of interesting. So let's see. She's going to hit her, swap positions. She's going to come here and dance her. What do you have? Wings of Mercy? Uh, that's not going to do very much because she's not going to get, she's not like at low enough health for it to do anything. She's got minus seven here. Maybe I should have hit her. Debuffed him by seven down here. That would have been that would have been a huge boon. Um, but anyway, um, she's gonna she's gonna hit me. Swap. I'll be here, which means she's still gonna come over here and hit him. She's gonna come here and dance. She's gonna come over here and dance. Her. One, two. She can hit her. She gets dance, so she's here, one, two, she's gonna hit here, here, and here. So let's put you here. Okay, so let's, yeah. I'm gonna put you here. Let's put you there. Put you here. Okay, so I think everybody's safe even with that. So let's take a look at what happens here. She hits me for eight, does nothing, swaps. Ooh, ugh, this is disgusting. Okay, so I already lost this one. I have to leave. See, I would have one-shot him. Wow, 50-something? My calculations were a little off. Well, I had the uh, 5 from there. So 35, 1.5 is like 17 or something. 36, half of 36 is 18. Or half of 34 is 17. 44, yeah, 40 is like 51. So that was right. Uh, so I already, I already uh, this has already been messed up. So... I just need to leave. Uh, lunge. That was dumb. Like, this is what I hate more than anything. Like, there's nothing more that I hate than Gale Force teams on defense. They're just irritating. Um, I don't know how... How did she walk all the way over here from there? Because they were out of position there. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. She, she has the extra movement. Um, so that's like... The AI was like on its fucking like best leg there for some reason. Cause my AI would have just like danced with her and then you know whatever from there, but that's besides the point. So yeah, we just have to surrender and <laughs> keep forgetting to turn on animations. 
Uh, so let's just surrender and uh, pretend like that didn't happen. Uh, I think next time it would have been better just to bait with, uh, just like have her sit there somewhere and one shot the the Nasala like on the counter attack. Uh, okay, that was actually a pretty good one, like a high su uh, high success, a high chance of success for me. So this next one is going to be pretty interesting. Yeah, so this is even, this is almost, yeah, this is like worse than that last one. So that one, the last one was easy compared to what's going on here. Uh, let's see, so they've got, theoretically they don't have any visible buffs. Yeah, they don't have, well, he's got this uh, to give it to him. Plus 10 Rolf, that's a weird, uh, it's a weird investment. It looks pretty good though, I'm not going to lie. Uh, all this here looks pretty interesting. Um, six level six. Yeah, this looks pretty interesting. Nine Elliewood. Is this the blazing? Is this the no? This is this is oh this is Gale Force. Oh no. Well, they usually go with Gale Force Elliewood on this. So basically. What it's looking like here is I'm gonna lose. I think regardless, there's not enough space for my team to move around here. Let's see if I put Boki here and then hit this, and then dance Boki and put her here to hit her. Uh, he does like this tome is just asinine. <laughs> like it's like, yeah. If it's attack, if their attack is greater than fifty, which is kind of stupid, or like if that wasn't easy enough to get, right? If there's a penalty, which is hilarious, just give them plus five to everything. Like I don't really, that's just like it's just lazy design to me. Uh, and if like if their if their speed is higher than thirty five, which is basically like you know everybody, uh, he gets a double. So we basically we just min max his. Speed, you just dump all the speed and give them the automatic double um, based on their stats. It's just really funny to me. Um, so, yeah, I don't think I can withstand a, a, a hit from this guy. Oh, he's going to hit me for like a squintillion damage. Um. Actually, okay, okay. This might be a job for, uh, what's her name? Bridal Micaiah. Um, what I'm, a lot of what I'm lacking seems to be damage. Uh, for the counterattack, just one-shotting people back, right? So maybe just Micaiah here. Uh, put her right here. And then hit all these, debuff them, and then give me the uh, the fourteen true damage. That might be what I end up doing. Um, this is like a real defense here. I just like cav lines because they're lazy, but I <clears throat> I just don't like Gale Force teams more. Um, okay, so this is kind of interesting. Maybe I should have... Uh, yeah, this is kind of weird. Um, the problem I have now is I really kind of maybe need those debuffs. Versus not going to be so bad. Okay, so it takes away my bonuses, but it keeps the debuffs on him. <laughs> Stop fucking dropping that. Um, that's kind of weird. I don't know what to do here. I might just go with the Makaya. If that doesn't work, then obviously I just like have to leave again. Hmm.
71 HP. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll fully, um, yep, this is fully built. Let's think about this for a second. This also might just be as easy as like leaving Boki here or here with like, uh, what's her name? With uh, Lancina right here and tanking this guy and then proceeding to do something from there. Because he's going to move somewhere, probably here to get to her, get danced and then do that. Uh, but the problem being, uh, it's really risky because he, he can just one-shot any of my units that are down here. Uh, so if he decides to like move here, yeah, if he decides to like move here, well, usually they, they, they over, a lot of times calves overextend, so if you don't have like, yeah, so she might just dance like one of these because... He'll probably go his full movement and like here or here and then get danced. And if he from here he can go one, two, three. Hit here, hit here, hit here. If he's, again, if he's standing here, he can go one, two, three, hit here. So he can hit here, here, and here. Um, but if I have Yeah, so it's one or the other. It's either I take Makaya and I and I try to kill this dancer with the true damage, and then hopefully not just get killed by uh, all of these people immediately. Um, that'd be good. The question becomes then: Can I kill her? She'll be at a minus seven from Makaya, so it's seventeen. I can double her because I have a lot of more, a lot more speed. Uh, they've got Barrier Lance, which is Res. 13 Defense. Yeah, I think I should be able to kill her. The problem then becomes, can Loki sustain everything else after that? So Loki is most definitely going to be uh, doubled by Rolf here, because I'm not breaking any towers and he's going to get these bonuses. I'm gonna get hit by him. And then there's him where he'll like run somewhere and then see. Maybe he'll run here. And then she'll dance him and then he'll come over here. Regardless, I can survive both of these. What I can't survive is him with him with him and him. I think what I'm gonna do is try that. I'm gonna put her here, put like Lancina here. Uh, because after that, like, he's the only thread who can, like, run this way and maybe, like, stand here and then, like, get dance and then stand here and then hit her. But she's got, like, insane defense, so it's okay. Um, I need to make sure someone's here. Lancine is here. Boki's here. Air is, like, here. Peony. And Peony is, like, here. Or here. That's the problem is, like, this is pretty good coverage against, like, starting positions. And I don't have, like, any empty spaces here. Okay, so I have still two more of those, so that's pretty good. Uh, but I think I'm going to try Lancina. Uh, especially because, like... Yeah. Let's just see what happens. Um, I'm kind of taking this as a loss anyway, but... We'll see what we get from here. Uh, let's see, okay. So they can hit here and here, so... I'm going to put her here. Let's put you here.
Yeah, I'm gonna put her here, Loki here, just so that um, soft spaces. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put you here, you here, and you here. I'm gonna put Loki here so that if for some reason he decides to move here and then get danced, he can't stand here to hit her. Okay. Right, so that's kind of, yeah. Ugh, this thing here is also kind of irritating. Oh, this is actually, I can put this here and then hit this, dance her, and then put her here, and then that, she'll be exactly where I wanted her, and then I'll have to move you here. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna do that. Let's see, let's see how well this works out. Let's see if I could have killed her. Oh, I could kill her. Um, this is an interesting uh, conundrum here. So I could kill her, but do I have enough? Let's go look at Boki again. 55 speed. He's got minus 7. 40 plus. I'm just going to assume he gets the max out of this. Um, so he gets 10. Plus 10, so he's got 50 speed, but I have 55 speed. Hmm. So he's gonna hit me once, he's gonna hit me twice. She's not gonna do anything. He's gonna hit me. <laughs> uh, an amount of times, I guess. I don't know. Attack speed 3, so my speed is 52 to his 38, but he gets the speed here, so I think he's going to take that. 52 to 38, if if not, uh, if, he's, he, if he doesn't beat me, he's going to, like, yeah, he's going to not get doubled, basically. Yeah, I think I'm just going to do this. Um, there's not the most reason not to. Uh... The question is, do I have more chance of surviving here with Lancina's uh, plus three to everything with the special cooldown? Because this basically means that if they hit me, if Fo initi yeah, so she's, I mean, she's gonna sit here and get initiated on. So if they hit me, my chart, my special will be charged on the counter attack. Um, Dire Thunder drawback, Moonbow. So he'll have Moonbow charged. So I need to be able to take 250, well, 51, right? Because my bow drops him by seven. So 51 and 51 and a Moonbow, one of them Moonbow charged. So let's see. I take the 51. I have 45, wow. So I, I take six damage. Plus the three from this, or, or I guess those six damage minus the three. So I take three theoretically, and then he's gonna moonbow me for more than three. <laughs> I don't feel like doing that calculation, so I think I'm just gonna stick with that. <laughs> so three and more than three. So if the first one's three, the second one shouldn't be that much higher. Um, shouldn't be enough to kill me anyway. Uh, so let's just see where this goes, honestly. Um, yeah, let's uh, let's find out. Oh, I didn't mean to surrender there. I meant to end turn. Okay. 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 So he can't. He did whatever the hell he's doing over here. Hits me twelve for twice, and he has the that special effect on his while wow, Glacy's charged. Ugh. Yeah. So that restore trap got me there, or the rally trap. What's this here? Defense, yeah, seven defense and Bo can I make a follow up attack? Okay. So blazing it so Ellie Wood, Blazing Durandal, for those of you. Uh if you want an irritating unit, uh there you go. Um I couldn't even beat him with 
Lucina giving the buffs. Uh, also with like a minus seven here and a plus seven for me. Uh, so yeah, he's pretty strong. I think, uh, you know, I don't think anybody would argue that. He one-shot me with that. Well, he hit me for 12, which is fine, but then he one-shot me for like 55 damage off of Glacies. Uh, so yeah. Uh, again, we're going to have to leave this one. These videos are usually pretty long, so I feel like maybe a... Uh, yeah, because I can't... I mean, for one, I would have lost there regardless. Like those, The other units I had left couldn't have taken that. Uh, but for two, I really can't afford to lose one unit because I, I I drop like 90. I lose, I go down to like 290 score and I need the 312. So I can't afford to lose a single unit on any of these. Uh, I have two more chances. Anyway, what I was saying is uh, I, I was thinking maybe I should like do this as a, like a live stream or something just because these take so long. Um, but yeah. Okay. This one's pretty interesting. Uh, I always hate to see Ophelia's on <laughs> on defense, just because they're very diff they're very diff difficult to counter. And then Irvin Ike, of course. This is an interesting one. Plus seven. Uh, I think I'm just gonna let him. I need to figure out a way to kill this Ophelia, because everything else here, like, what I can do is like, have Boki here pop this, and then Dancer, and then move over here and hit this. Panic with the. That's weird. Um, but then I'd have to deal with this, so. Okay, maybe. Okay, maybe if I hit this. Okay, wait, wait a minute. I think what I have to do is, is hit this with Boki. Boki here, hit this. Uh, Dancer, and then come down here. And then chill here for a turn. Have someone hit this. Okay, wait a minute. Maybe air. Oh, this is irritating. Um. <laughs> ah. This is pretty weird. Gosh damn, dude. Stop dropping shit. There we go. Ugh, man. It's just like... How long has Ophelia been here? Ophelia's been here not like day one, I don't think. She's been here since like, I want to say at least year one. Sorry, I'm not very good with like remembering when units come out and what's going on with that. But I think she's been here since at least year one. She's still like as oppressive as she was like the first day she got here. There's just no amount of tankiness that can survive a Mistletain from her. A uh, Blazing Light Mistletain attack. Some people running Lysithias. She's got a similar thing as like first turn special charge is really asinine. Magic ally. So this thing is down to three. A three turn cooldown. Right? She gets one and two. Does this staff unit count? Are you sure? That's kind of weird. So staff units count as magic for Ophelia's boost, but they don't count as magic for Felicia's dagger, her special refine. That's kind of dumb. I can't believe that. Uh, but yeah, I think this is the plan. I think... Okay, I need, I need to find a way to pop these two structures and then get out of the way before she can do anything. But there's no, I don't think there's enough range. So I need to pop this one first and then move them out of the way. And then another turn, I need to pop this one and then try to get them out of the way. I don't think it'll work, though. Um, one, two, three. So she can hit here. 
in here. So I'll need to have someone like a dancer to move this out of the way because ultimately the goal is I need to have Boki here to pop her. Have a unit dance her here to pop her and then have someone like reposition this unit away. Now the two main threats are gone. He's not going to do anything. Oh, that's the other one. Okay, so she's going to have one. Okay, so this is down to two because of the infantry pulse and then these two count and she's down to uh, uh, zero. So it'll be ready on that turn. Uh, but yeah, I think of the two, she's the most important because no one else here is going to do very much. Uh, but I'm really concerned about the range on Veronica, like having her run around doing stuff. Because like she'll, she'll maybe not like, if I if I put her here and kill her, she'll probably just stand here and then hit me, and then he's gonna come over here and then hit me, and like dance is is gonna happen. They're all just gonna keep trying to hit me. Um, but like I'm afraid she'll like move down here and then get danced again and do something stupid. Uh, but I think yeah, I think this is this is the plan is to come over here and try to figure out how to deal with this. Now the only other uh, thing with that is I need to figure out who to bring in terms of a um, assistant now let's see prayer wheel so she's giving out buffs she's giving out buffs visible buffs oh actually she's not giving out visible buffs anymore uh, he's not doing anything and he's kind of uh, neutralizes cabinet bonuses from fortify rally okay flying and cavalry very interesting uh, so yeah, I think uh, I'm just going to bring a Versa. Here. So I like this coverage here. So this here hits here. So I can't just like... Yeah, very interesting. Scold it. Grants plus three. Yeah, I think I'm just going to bring a Versa just because they've got way too many buffs not to bring a Versa. Uh, let's go take a look here. So you... Okay, so now that I've made this decision, it's going to be tricky to... So you're probably not going to be here just because you're not as useful. Like, she doesn't have reposition is the problem. Okay. So I need to clear all this debris out of the way because I don't think their range increases with these three gone. One, two, yeah, you can stand here. Yeah, okay. So let's just start clearing stuff here. I probably didn't need to clear these two, uh, but you know, just why not? Okay. So if I hit this, okay. So let's. Uh, I'm gonna think about this now. Let's go take a look at what's going on over here. Now it's turn two. Three, seven, three. Is the versa not hitting? Yeah, it is. I guess I should be hitting everybody, honestly. So minus three, minus three, minus three, minus three, minus three. Okay, so she gives out uh, attack and defense buffs. Uh, yeah. So I think yeah, it's easier to just like have bike, because <laughs> bike on an on uh bike getting initiated on is basically invincible. But when he initiates on people, it's 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 ugly. It's not good. Uh, that's that's how you kill bike is you just let him initiate on you and and um, as long as you have a physically tanky unit anyway. What's hitting me? Is this hitting me? Minus five. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna pop that anyway. So if I stand here and I pop this, nothing happens, right? So I can pop this safely. Um. So I need to think about this a few a few turns ahead of time before I start moving anything, because uh, popping this one is going to unleash like all hell if I'm not prepared for it. So, and then I also have to worry about this at turn three. It's not that big a deal because I'm going to be actually yeah, it is a pretty big deal. Um, let's see, it's going to heal these two, but not these three, which is good. So that's good. Um, but yeah, so let's see. Let's get everybody into position first, I think. 
So how am I going to do this? I'm going to hit this, which is fine. She's going to get... So I'm going to hit this one or this one. So I'm going to hit the, both of them. One, two, three. One, two, three. She can send here, hit here, here, and here. Yeah, that's why I needed to do that the other way. So, okay. I think I'm, here's what I'm gonna do. I am gonna put, cause I need to pop this one first. Cause this one, hitting this one won't increase the range. And I can hit this and be far away, as far away as I can be. So, Might be the bolt tower that gets them to move, but we'll. we'll... I tested out once and, and they didn't move even though the bolt tower hit them, so I don't know. I'm still trying to figure out what's going on. Uh, but yeah, okay, so. Let's. I need to get them in the position. So we're going to put them as forward as I can. So maybe you're going to go here. She's going to go here. She's going to go here. She's going to go here. And then I'm going to put you here. So the next turn, after that, Boki's here. She's going to hit this. She's here. She's going to move forward, flip her back this way. Right, so now it'll be reversed. So Boki was here. So Boki is going to be here, and Air is going to be here. And this is still going to be here, so she can just move here and then hit here. So it's empty. So I'll be safe that turn. The turn after that, I'm going to have Air hit this. And then Boki's here, so Boki's gonna flip her back here. So Boki's here, Air's here. And she can go one, two, three here and hit this position here where Boki is. So, and no one's gonna be able to hit here, right? One, two, three. Yeah, okay. She's gonna here and here. And here, I guess. But she can't hit here. So Boki's going to be the only one in danger. So I'll just dance her and move her back somewhere else. Okay. Okay, I like this. Um, let's put you here. Let's put you here. Let's put you... Here and here. Is actually making me nervous because they, like I said, they move sometimes. And basically, everybody's almost dead. He's always got the oh, at, well, yeah, he's always got the um, whatever. At start of combat, oh, that's interesting. So he has to be over fifty, and then he he won't die. That's very interesting. Um, I feel like I should just. So I have two dancers. I don't want to change the plan at this point, but like, I have two dancers, and I feel like maybe I should make the use, make the best use of them. So these three are in very good position. So if I put this here and kill him, that'll be fine. Dancer and then kill her, which will be fine again. But yeah, these two dancers are making this hard. I think I'm just gonna do this. Uh, let's do, let's hit that. So again, that doesn't increase their range, and I'm good to go here. Uh, next turn, she's going to hit that. I'm going to use her to flip her this way, and then I think I should be good. I don't like this. I don't want that there. Um, okay. Okay, okay. Um, just the fact that this went off, damaging these two so severely, <laughs> it, uh, it's sort of tempting me into just trying to kill, maybe just trying to kill uh, Bike here. Because I could just move her here, dance her here, put her here, and then have her dance her here and then hit Bike and he should be dead. Hopefully. <laughs> um, but it would put me in range of Ophelia and there's no way to tank an Ophelia, so... That's kind of where we're at right now. Um, let's do that. Let's see if anybody moves. Okay, no one moved. Ugh. Okay. Um, 
Okay, so this increases her range again. Okay, so this is fine. This is this was um, planned. Okay, we're getting into some real risky business here. Okay, so next turn, here, here's my plan. This is why I brought Aversa back over. So next turn, I'm gonna move her here or here. Ugh, this is bad. Um, yeah, there, there's still a lot of range is the problem because I need to move, somehow I need to get bulky here. Yeah, that's kind of irritating. So. Uh, my plan is basically putting her here. Um, then the turn after that, moving her here and then dancing her, putting her here and then dancing her and then having her push her forward. So one, two here. So she'll move here, hit her. I need to find some way to move a dancer right here. The range on that uh, Veronica is getting pretty annoying now. Um, but I think, I think what I might end up having to do, since she's got Wrathful Staff, Oh wait, wait, panic plus the counterattack, okay. Yeah, I really So I'm getting to the point where maybe killing her isn't that big a deal. Cause everybody's is kinda low, so I can just kind of like use her smite her up here. Have her smite her here, one, two here, and then hit her. Just kill her. She he's gonna hit me, she's gonna hit me. Uh she's gonna get danced. And so she'll be here. So one, two, three. Uh, Wings of Mercy, of course. Um, so yeah, I really need to just, I need to kill her too. This is unfortunately the problem. Um, da -da -da. I'm running out of turns too. This is bad. Uh, let's, <laughs> okay, so if I move her here, I can use this, This is going to take some serious finagling. Because, yeah, like I said, I need to somehow get her... I need to get her here. Then she can, on her own, she can go one, two, stand here, and then here. And then I need to get a dancer. So she needs to stand here, or here. Need to get her. So if I can put her here, I can just put her here, put my dancer under her, have her go one, two here. I need a way. Okay, so let, let's kind of work this backwards. So Boki needs to be here somehow, right? One, two, hit this, okay? So I need to find a way to put my dancer here. So if I use this and I stand here and I flip her over, she'll be here. But I need to get her one, two, here. 
Okay. Okay, I think, okay, yeah, I think this is good. Okay. So, like I said, so one, two, so here. Boki needs to be here. I'm kind of contemplating whether or not I can take anything, but I really shouldn't be having anybody um, in harm's way there. Um, Boki, I can put her here, so no problem. Um, I can put you here, Dancer, one, two, but I only have one extra reposition that's on her. Because I need to, like, if she, if she goes here and she goes here, she needs to dance her. Um, if, yeah, so she needs to dance her. I need her to reposition her out of the way. Yeah, this would be easier if I had a, another reposition. Damn it. Um, okay, I'm gonna figure out how to put this together because this is gonna take a long time. Uh, then I'll, I'll come back just because it's like looking at the same screen over again is gonna c c get kind of boring. But yeah, I'll, this might take longer than normal. Okay, so it's looking like there's really no way to do uh, my plan, which is. Um, have Boki here and then hit her and then someone stand here and dance her to hit her because he is going to come over here and kill like these are my dancers regardless whether they're blue or not and how much debuffs he has uh, I think he can just kill them and even if he can't um, these dancers are going to make sure that he can um, so I think this the safer option because like I can I mean the way I have it here Right, she moves here, she moves right here, and dances her here, one, two here, hit her there. I can use her to push her forward to here. She can stand here, dance this, and then I can hit them. So these two are out, but then let leaves him, and remember, I can't, lo I can't lose a single unit here. So this is what's making this a little more irritating. Um, the panic on her is a huge deal because I'm... I've got, I'm going to have plus three to all these things, so I'm going to lose. I'm going to take a, a minus three to all these stats, uh, which is going to make it you know, a lot worse for fighting the rest of these and her. Um, not to mention, she's probably just going to double me. Um, not Well, she's not going to double me, but she's going to get danced probably. If not her, then one of these two. So I think what I'm going to do instead is put her here, have her stand here, and then dance her to walk over here. Have her dance her again, um, and then have her uh, have her uh, smite her into this position, and then hit her. Um, the problem being that, oh, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, of course, uh, I'm gonna make I'm gonna take minus six. To my defense, that's that's, yeah. So it's a minus six to defense and res from where I am now, which already, without those buffs, is is a huge deal. Uh, ha like having her, like if you're just gonna sit there and tank without those buffs, that'd be a huge deal. Um, but yeah, so I mean, either I, I just try that, or uh, I just leave. Because uh, really, there's no way to deal with this. I can't hit anybody that isn't her because she's just going to one-shot me because of just how she's designed. Um, like, her special's ready. She's got 58 uh, to my res, which is 38. There's no scenario where I can just hit her and then tank whatever she's dishing out. Uh, 58 plus whatever. So 58, my res is 38. That's a difference of 20. Uh, she's gonna hit me for 1.5 times 20 is 30. She's gonna hit me for a flat 30, which puts me down to uh, 37. Yeah, 37 without even any any other consideration. 
which is 37. And then she's going to hit me. Yeah, 40. Yeah, 30. She's going to hit me for 30, dropping me down to 37. Then she's going to hit me for 58. Again, the difference here is uh, 20. So I'm at 37. I'm down to 17. Uh, I gain 7 from this. Yeah, I gain seven from this, and he and she or I lo she loses seven from this. So I'm at seventeen. So I'm, I'll be at twenty four, and then having to withstand um, the attacks from all of these is probably not going to happen. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, there's those are the three options. I either I can get her here and then have her kill this, and then not get the panic, which is decent, uh, but then get one shot by this. Um, and even if I don't get one shot, I'm probably still going to have to tank these. Or I can put her here, hit this, get hit with this panic, and take that damage and get danced by all these and take all their damage. Um, I think ultimately I'm just going to have to go with this one, though. I'm just going to kill her and see if I can tank her. Uh, it's not really any other way around it. Uh, so let's put... What's the easiest way to do this? I need to put her here, dance her, go over here, smite her. So she's here, one, two, here. She's going to walk forward and hit her. Um, then she's going to try to hit me. Yeah, and I can't vantage her. So she's going to... Yeah, I mean, there's no matter what, I'm going to kill her back on the, on, the, um, on the upswing there. I think if they lose... If I can tank this and I can kill her on the follow-up... Because she's going to hit me for, for this and her first attack because she's going to initiate... I'm going to kill her on the follow-up. Um, if they lose here, and I can tank the rest of this, so these two are dead, these three are going to be an issue. But since I have close foil, uh, I think I should be okay. Uh, but if they, if they lose this, it'll be because of this being out of range. So this probably should have been here. I'm not sure what you gain from having this here and this here. Because if this was here, it would heal all of these right here. And he needs to be over 50 to not to get his uh, miracle effect on his on his weapon. As well as like this quicker post now is not worthless is not worth anything, um, but yeah I don't know I, I'm curious as to why you put this here. I guess it's like so it doesn't get sniped or something. But if they're if there's if it's if it's here, and I'm doing something to snipe it, I'm way out of position anyway, and you can just kill me with these. Um, yeah, uh, it's very interesting. Uh, but yeah, anyway, so let's let's like I said, let's try this out. Uh, I'm gonna put you here. Get danced by her. Uh, we're going to smite her up from here. So one, two here. She's going to stand here and hit this. Uh, and then Air's going to come over here and flip Peony down just to get her out of uh, harm's way. So she's here. Oh, let's uh, dance her first. It's just so tempting to do this. Um, but yeah, I really need to get rid of that panic because minus three to everything and then minus six to these two is, is, is not something I can handle. Especially, I mean, it's like here it's not that big a deal because Irvin Ike is, is canceling out my bonuses, but I don't, like, again, he's not very good on the, uh, on the upswing there. Um... So he hits me back for 11, which is kind of interesting. Uh, 11, so he's got 53 minus 7 is 46. And I've got 40. So he hits me for s that plus 5 somewhere. He's getting 5 more damage from something. Yeah, he gets the attack defense. Okay, so that makes sense. Um, however, yeah, so I think I'm just going to hit you. All right, so let's see where this uh, where this takes us. This is probably uh, a terrible mistake, but um, let's see what happens. Let's end turn. Okay, so she's obviously Ophelia is going to come first. Yeah. Oh, she didn't. Very interesting. Twelve. I'm not sure why she did so little damage.
Why oh, she's okay. Well, then I guess I was kind of freaking out for nothing. Um, it is. It's not even a plus one Ophelia, which is one of the interesting things about it. It's me for ten. Okay. Let's see what I got here. Okay, so I can't kill him. He's got more attack than I do. Uh, we have one turn left. This is really bad. Um, so what happens? So let's hit him with this. Twenty-eight. So next attack, I should kill him. Hopefully, so she could just kill him. Um, they can't dance each other, so that's fine. Can she kill him? No, she can't. Okay, so let's get Aaron on this. Moonbow. Nine damage. <laughs> that uh, percentage damage reduction is ridiculous. It's not even funny. Um, she's right here, so I need her to be... Okay, yeah, this is what I'm gonna do. Sit you here. Yeah, this is good. There we go, we did it. We did it! Oh my gosh, it only took an hour and a half of recording. Yeah, I think I, I was talking about it and I got kind of off, tra off track there somewhere. Uh, but I was thinking about maybe doing these as a live stream, but I don't really have um, a whole lot of subscribers, so there's probably not gonna be anyone in there. Um, not to mention, it's not really that worth it because, like, as videos, the way the videos are now, no one comments anyway. So, I don't think there's anyone who wants to interact in a live stream format, regardless. Um, so, probably just keep doing videos from now on um, until, I mean, until I get to a point where you know it's like there's probably a big enough demand for it. Um, but yeah. Uh, so yeah, there we go. That's how you make it into tier twenty-seven. Um, just a lot of sweating, basically. Uh, of course, I missed uh, one to three thousand again. Uh, I think if I hadn't lost so much def so much lift, maybe uh, there's no way to see how much of your uh, lift. Oh, maybe there is. Hold on, let's see if uh, AR tier no defense. Maybe if there's a way to see current standing up here in the in the three thousand range. Kevin um, but anyway yeah it's uh, I'm not sure uh, the, basically what I'm saying is I wonder if not losing this 142 uh, would have been enough to maybe put me into top 3000 um, who knows uh, well we'll see next season uh, hopefully like I said I have my Felicia is finally ready my AR defense is finally uh, basically pretty solid uh, the only thing I'm missing, of course, is going to be the um, Fury 4 on Camilla, but it'll be a while before I get that. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to take it out of the um, the paper shop. Let's go take a look at that. Oh, I forgot I have to go do Arena, too. That's annoying. Um, the paper shop here. Limited time. Do I have these already? Yeah, I already got these. I, I didn't take these, two just because I didn't want them. Um... He's got Fury 4, right? And I can I can afford it right now. I can just... Each path is what? Uh, one, uh, two, four, six. So each one's six. And I already kind of took this 400. So it's like, you know, whatever. So 6,000 for one full path. Uh, it's actually a pretty good path to go on. Um, if, you, if anybody's seen that Acuras video uh, for path quality, uh, this is one of the better ones. The problem is I need, let's see, one, uh, two, four. So I need 8,000 papers, right? Because I need the the close counter from that, and I need the special spiral from that to finish off my Kranya. Um, which that kind of sucks. So it's either, it's either kind of finish off my Kranya, guaranteed with these, or try to get this, uh, this Fury 4, which, you know, uh, 
it's not that it's not that good a trade because I'm only getting plus one stat to everything. Plus, I mean, you know, if any of you watch uh, Accurus's channel, he'll he'll tell you to like it's better to save them for what's to come, and that's kind of why I'm holding on to them just because like where it is now, the pads are so expensive that they're deterring me from just buying it. Like these papers are so annoying to get and they're so like infrequent. That this entire thing is like, there's no reason to spend your papers just because of how worthless they are right now. Uh, like I said, they are pretty worth like, you know, 4000 for a close counter, but it's not just about, oh, getting a close counter, right? You gotta get the close counter and the uh, special spiral, or you need like this. And everything on the way is always just useless. Like, you're never gonna use like half of the stuff that's in here. Uh, I mean, maybe if you're a newer player, you don't have a lot of it, but uh, like, you know, like I said, I've been here for three years already, so even off like just getting off matter units and all this other crap like i've stockpiled enough of these skills that it's like none of these are useful other than uh close counters um but yeah so like i said i mean this is a guaranteed way to get the uh fury 4 but i'm not gonna like spend eight thousand papers to get uh or six thousand papers to get a plus one to every stat on camilla um, at least not yet. I mean, if I ever get like more desperate, then maybe, or maybe we get more papers at some point. But like I said, yeah, these, these papers are so few and far between that like you just hoard them because there's nothing that's worth the effort you went through to get this many papers. Um, yeah. Uh, the like I said, it's eight thousand for the um, eight thousand papers to finish off my Kranya, uh, especially because I got kind of fucked over on the last banner where New Year's Alphonse was. Uh, if I had just pulled that New Year's Alphonse, I'd be golden right now. Like I wouldn't have to worry about anything. But uh, of course, things don't. Uh, things rarely roll my way uh, when it comes to stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, so you know, we'll we'll, uh, we'll see next next season. See how things go. Uh, like I said, probably on Sunday or something, Saturday or Sunday, I might have like an arena, uh, an Aether Raids uh, defense recap or something like that. Now that like my team is in there and and we can see what the shortcomings are and what I end up losing a lot to. I kind of predict uh, we're going to lose a lot to um, like red threats are going to be a huge thing. Uh, this week I actually lost to someone and I had forgotten that he was like people were using him for stuff. Uh, let's go look here. I had forgotten that people were actually using where he Keaton. Like Disencounter Keaton is actually like Disencounter Vantage Keaton is actually pretty good. Uh, granted while he, he's red he doesn't have the colorless thing that most people have. Um, I think a lot of people real know by now how powerful uh, Altina is for being a red double attacker, whether, you know, regardless of the phase. Um, yeah, and, and Keaton's just a, a pretty good choice for that. Uh, but yeah, so that was it for this week. I uh, guess we'll see how things go next week. Uh, but there you go. Again, just to show people, just uh, uh, you can make it into AR tier 27 using the, uh, you know, considered a low tier character or something uh, or just just knowing that you know your preferences can make it can make you you know couldn't put you in high in high ranking in this game uh, at least in aether raids and when it comes to arena it's just a giant uh, pay to win fest over there um, but yeah so at least here it's it's pretty cool uh, but yeah that's that's it for uh, that's it for today uh, I guess good luck for all of you who are who are doing your last minute uh, aether raids pushes and uh, arena pushes and all that stuff. Uh, but yep, that's it for me today.